And then you have the mystery of the Easter Island script. How did that happen? How come, how come this tiny island Hidden deep in the Pacific on a remote speck of land, an ancient silence lingers. Gigantic stone statues gaze blankly across the windswept terrain, as if guarding something long forgotten. But beyond the stare of the Moai lies an even deeper mystery. And this script, we, what is, can we see what it looks like? Do you yeah. find the Easter Island script, Jamie? If, if you look up the word Rongo Rongo, etched into wood, written in a language no one on earth can read. A lost script, a vanished voice. Its creators are gone, their secrets buried with them. That is a sign again that there's something wrong with our understanding of Easter Island. How can we, how can we explain that this tiny little place? For over a century, scholars have tried and failed to break its code. What message lies locked within these lines? Tonight, we journey to Easter Island and listen for what still waits to be heard. The Discovery of Rongo Rongo In 1864, French missionary Eugène A. Rode stepped onto the shores of Easter Island, unaware that he was about to uncover one of history's greatest enigmas. As he moved through the island's villages, A. Rode noticed curious wooden tablets stored in the homes of local Rapa Nui people. These tablets were covered with strange, intricate symbols, neatly carved in rows, unlike anything seen across Polynesia. A. Rode was intrigued. He asked the islanders what these carvings meant, but no one could explain them. Even the elders, who often held oral traditions, looked at the symbols with blank stares. There were no stories, no chants, no recollections. The meaning was already gone. His discovery was met with indifference at first. Some of the tablets were used as firewood. Others were forgotten in dusty corners of huts. But what A. Rao stumbled upon was likely the last trace of a lost written language, now known as Rongo Rongo. By the time European scholars began to examine the script seriously, it was too late. The knowledge needed to read it had vanished. The people who once carved and read these symbols had disappeared, leaving behind only silence and wood, a language lost before the world ever truly knew it existed. The Uniqueness of Rongorongo Rongorongo stands apart not just in its mystery, but in its very existence. Across the vast Polynesian world, oral tradition reigned supreme. Stories were sung, myths were chanted, and knowledge was passed down from memory to memory. Written language? That was unheard of. And yet somehow on this isolated island, a system of writing emerged. The Rongorongo script is composed of roughly 120 distinct glyphs. These aren't simple letters or abstract symbols. They're stylized images, birds with bowed heads, fish with curling tails, crescent moons, and humanoid figures frozen in action. Some glyphs appear upright, others upside down. A style called Boustrophodon, where lines are read in alternating directions. The arrangement of symbols suggests purpose. Patterns repeat. Certain symbols cluster together, as if forming phrases or rituals. Some tablets appear to catalog sequences, perhaps genealogies, perhaps lunar cycles. There's structure here, but without a Rosetta Stone, no bilingual text, no known translation, we can't anchor the meaning of a single glyph. What makes Rongo Rongo even more baffling is how advanced it appears. Could a society so isolated have independently developed writing? If so, it would make Rapa Nui one of the very few cultures on Earth to do so without outside influence. Rongo Rongo challenges our understanding of language evolution. It whispers of a deeper intellect hidden behind the Moai. A culture that didn't just speak or sing, but also wrote, and that writing, frozen in wood, now teeters on the edge of being forgotten forever. Theories on its purpose Why did the Rapa Nui people create Rongo Rongo? Without a translation, we're left with theories, some grounded in anthropology, others drifting into the speculative. Yet each offers a tantalizing glimpse into what these tablets might contain. One of the most widely accepted ideas is that Rongorongo had religious or ceremonial significance. Scholars have noticed that many tablets were found near sacred sites, often tied to rituals. Some believe the glyphs may record chants, prayers, or sacred laws recited only by priests. If true, Rongorongo was never meant for everyday use. It was exclusive, spiritual knowledge, tightly guarded by an elite class. Another compelling theory suggests that Rongorongo served as an astronomical or calendrical tool. Certain glyphs resemble stars, moons, and other celestial bodies. Some researchers have matched tablet sequences to lunar and solar cycles. Could the Rapa Nui have used these inscriptions to mark planting seasons? 
track ocean currents, or predict eclipses? If so, these wooden planks could be early Polynesian star charts, evidence of sophisticated environmental awareness. Others argue the script may be historical or political, chronicling the genealogy of chiefs, significant events, or even migration tales. Polynesian societies placed immense value on ancestry. It's possible that these tablets preserve the lineage of rulers or recorded ancient voyages across the Pacific. Then, there are fringe theories that Rongorongo came from outside civilizations or even extraterrestrial sources. While intriguing, such ideas lack credible evidence. Still, each tablet could serve multiple roles. Spiritual guide, calendar, and history book rolled into one. Without a key, we're left decoding shadows. But one thing is clear. Rongorongo was not decorative. It was meaningful, functional, and possibly essential to the Rapa Nui way of life. Whatever its purpose, the script speaks of a culture that observed, remembered, and recorded. And though we can't yet hear their words, we know they once had something vital to say. Decoding Attempts and Global Comparisons For more than a century, the world's brightest minds have tried to unlock Rongorongo. Linguists, cryptographers, and historians have studied the tablets, scanning, cataloging, and analyzing every curve of every glyph. Yet no one has cracked the code. Early researchers thought Rongorongo might relate to other ancient scripts. Egyptian hieroglyphs came to mind first. Both systems use pictorial symbols. But when scholars looked closer, the similarities faded. Others compared it to the Indus Valley script, another undeciphered writing system with recurring patterns and unknown meaning. Some even linked it loosely to ancient Chinese characters, hoping for structural overlaps. But each of these comparisons hit the same wall. No common reference, no known vocabulary, and no cultural link strong enough to justify translation. Modern efforts have included mathematical frequency analysis, breaking down how often each glyph appears and in what order. Still, without understanding the language's syntax or even its purpose, these patterns offer hints, not answers. One of the biggest obstacles? We don't even know what language Rongorongo was meant to represent. The spoken Rapa Nui language has evolved, and no record ties it directly to these symbols. Was Rongorongo phonetic, ideographic, or something entirely different? There are fewer than 30 surviving Rongorongo tablets today, scattered across museums and private collections. Some are badly damaged. Each new scan brings hope, but also highlights how little we truly know. Even the world's most powerful decryption tools have failed to unlock its secrets. Unlike the Rosetta Stone, which gave us a way to read Egyptian hieroglyphs, Rongorongo stands alone. No translation, no context, just silent symbols carved into decaying wood. And so, for every attempt made, for every theory proposed, Rongorongo responds with the same quiet answer, not yet. The Fall of Rapa Nui Literacy To understand why Rongorongo remains unreadable, we have to look at the heartbreaking history of Easter Island, known to its people as Rapa Nui. The collapse of their literacy wasn't just a cultural loss, it was a human tragedy. When Europeans began arriving in the 18th century, they brought more than curiosity. They brought devastation. New diseases like smallpox and tuberculosis swept through the island's tightly knit communities. With no immunity, the Rapa Nui population plummeted. Entire family lines were wiped out within years. But the worst was yet to come. In the 1860s, slave traders from Peru raided the island. They captured hundreds of Rapa Nui men including tribal leaders, priests, and likely the last people who could read Rongorongo. Most were never seen again. A handful who survived the brutal voyage and returned brought diseases with them, triggering another deadly outbreak. As colonizers and missionaries took control, traditional Rapa Nui culture began to erode. Catholic missionaries discouraged native customs, languages, and beliefs. The oral traditions were replaced with Christian teachings, Sacred artifacts, including the Rongorongo tablets, were taken, lost, or burned. By the late 1800s, the island's population had dropped to fewer than 200 people, and among them, not a single person remained who could read the script. Imagine a civilization's entire written knowledge, its songs, stories, rituals, calendars, locked away in symbols, 
with no one left to explain them. The flame of literacy, once lit, was snuffed out in a single generation, not through disinterest or decay, but through disease, violence, and colonization. Rongo Rongo didn't just vanish, it was silenced. Today, the surviving tablets are scattered across the world, far from the island that birthed them. What remains is not just a mystery of language, but a haunting reminder of how easily human knowledge can disappear when cultures are broken, displaced, or destroyed. What could Rongo Rongo reveal? If we ever decode Rongo Rongo, what might it reveal? That question haunts every researcher who studies the tablets, because within those silent glyphs could lie answers not just about Easter Island, but about human civilization itself. Easter Island giants, yet erecting them was far from easy. Not long ago, the government restored a huge statue. One possibility is that Rongorongo contains detailed records of Polynesian navigation. The Polynesians were master sailors, capable of navigating thousands of miles across the open ocean with no modern tools. These tablets may hold clues about how they read the stars, tracked ocean currents, or remembered island positions. Such knowledge could rewrite the timeline of seafaring history, proving that the Pacific was charted far earlier and more precisely than we imagined. Others believe the glyphs preserve spiritual and mythological narratives. What if these tablets hold the origin stories of the Rapa Nui, or sacred laws, or songs that were meant to be passed down through generations? If decoded, Rongo Rongo might breathe life into forgotten gods, lost rituals, and beliefs that once bound a people together. Then there's the possibility of scientific or environmental knowledge. The Rapa Nui lived on a fragile island with limited resources. Could the tablets contain agricultural cycles, climate patterns, or fishing practices? If so, these wooden planks might hold ancient insights into sustainability knowledge with surprising relevance for today's world. And what if Rongo Rongo is something even more profound, a mixture of all these elements, a holistic record of life on Easter Island, history, mythology, science, and spirituality carved into wood for safekeeping. The tragedy is, we're not even sure what we've lost. Without translation, each tablet is a closed book filled with pages we can't read. But the hope remains that someday one glyph will match a word, one phrase will unlock a sentence, and a civilization's voice, thought lost forever, will speak once again. Modern Efforts to Decode In today's digital age, a new generation of researchers is taking on the challenge of Rongo Rongo, not with parchment and pencils, but with algorithms and artificial intelligence. High-resolution scans of surviving tablets have allowed scholars to study every groove and grain in astonishing detail. These digital replicas make it easier to spot repeated patterns, trace worn-out glyphs, and compare symbols across different tablets without risking damage to the fragile originals. Some researchers are now turning to machine learning. By feeding computers thousands of images of Rongo Rongo glyphs, they hope AI can detect structures or grammatical rules hidden from the human eye. It's a long shot, but in the past, similar tools have helped decipher damaged texts and detect patterns in extinct languages. Collaborations across disciplines are also growing. Linguists, anthropologists, data scientists, and indigenous scholars are working together each bringing unique perspectives, projects are underway to analyze the tablets alongside oral traditions, star maps, and ancient chants, hoping that context can lead where code-breaking alone cannot. Still, the biggest hurdle remains. We have no known translation, no reference text, no key to even one word. AI can suggest patterns, but it can't give meaning without human insight. Yet the effort continues, driven by curiosity, respect, and the dream of restoring a voice lost to time. In the quiet lines of carved wood, something waits, a message held in silence for centuries. Perhaps, just perhaps, we're closer to unlocking it than ever before. The Legacy of Rongo 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 is more than an undeciphered script. It's a symbol, a reminder that even the most vibrant cultures can fall silent. A warning that knowledge, no matter how sacred or advanced, can vanish if not passed on. It speaks of resilience and tragedy, of a people who created something extraordinary in isolation, 
and of a world that failed to recognize its value in time. The tablets that once may have held chance, laws, or cosmic knowledge are now locked in silence, preserved in museums far from their home. For the Rapa Nui people, Rongo Rongo is a link to ancestors whose voices were silenced. For scholars, it's an irresistible puzzle. And for all of us, it's a reflection of our shared vulnerability. Languages have died before. Cultures have been erased, but rarely has the loss been so complete and so mysterious. Yet Rongo Rongo endures. Through centuries of colonization, neglect, and decay, these carved symbols have refused to disappear. They continue to wait, not forgotten, not erased, but unread. And in that waiting, they speak. Not in words, but in presence. A quiet defiance carved in wood. The question is, will we ever learn to listen? Rongo Rongo remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the human story. A forgotten language, a silenced voice, but maybe not forever. Somewhere within those symbols lies a message, a glimpse into a vanished world waiting to be uncovered. And as technology advances, so too does the hope that one day the tablets will speak again. Until then, we're left with the wonder of what might be. What secrets are carved into those ancient lines? What knowledge have we lost? Or are we just beginning to find? If you've been intrigued by the story of Rongo Rongo, subscribe to Enigma Obscura for more deep dives into the world's forgotten histories and unsolved riddles. And let us know in the comments, what do you think the tablets could be hiding? Sometimes the past doesn't vanish. It whispers quietly, waiting for someone to finally hear.